Lawrence Peter Barra grew up on Elizabeth Avenue, also known as the Hall of Fame place, where he lived with his parents and four siblings. He learned the basics of catching and playing outfield and infield positions when he began playing baseball in local American Legion leagues. He received his famous nickname Yogi from his friend Bobby Hoffman while playing together in American Legion baseball. Hoffman said he resembled a Hindu yogi whenever he sat around with his arms and legs crossed, waiting to bat, or while looking sad after losing a game. Yogi Berra played minor league baseball with the Newark Bears before playing 83 games for the Yankees. Little did he know he would play more than 100 in each of the following 14 years. Although Berra chose to leave a finger outside his glove, he remained an outstanding catcher and became one of only four catchers to ever field 1.0 for a season, playing 88 airless games in 1958. One of the most memorable days of Yogi's career was when he caught Don Larson's perfect game in the 1956 World Series, the first of only two no-hitters ever thrown in postseason play. He eventually became manager of the Yankees and also returned to the field as a player and coach for the Mets. Yogi was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1972. That same year, the number 8 was retired by the Yankees, honoring Yogi and Bill Dickey, his predecessor as the Yankees star catcher. In 1996, he received an honorary doctorate from Montclair State University, which is also the home of Yogi Berra Stadium and the Yogi Berra Museum, which was opened in his honor. Aside from baseball, Yogi had another love. He married his wife, Carmen, on January 26, 1949. They have three children together, two of which also play professional sports. He now spends most of his days in Montclair, New Jersey, where he lives with his close family. We can now look back at his wildly successful career and be reminded of the wonderful person Yogi was and continues to be.